Today we are visiting with Larry Olson, noted outdoor survivalist, author, and co-founder of the Anasazi Foundation. Welcome Larry, thank you for joining us today. I'm happy to be here. You are well known as a pioneer in wilderness survival and as survival skills teacher. Please give us some insight into the early years and how this journey led to your remarkable career as a survivalist and educator. That journey started when I was 12 years old. I found an arrowhead while I was digging ditch for my uncle. And I took it to school and the teacher was so infatuated by it that she gave me a book about the Indians that made that arrowhead. And I couldn't read. <laughs> so I did learn to read that night. And I've read everything on Paiutes and wild living since. <laughs> kind of wild living that where you go out in the desert and live off the land. And as I grew up, other people wanted to know, and so the program, I just developed programs, and that worked. You co-founded the Anasazi Foundation with your fellow survivalist Ezekiel Sanchez in 1988. What was your inspiration to create what has now become the leading nationally accredited outdoor behavioral health care program? Well, uh, I had done programs at BYU and various other organizations for years and, and gradually learned that an experience in the wilderness the, of the type that we produced had results, about an 80% success in fact. And so uh, we, we took hundreds and even thousands of young people into the desert and taught them to live off the land and then sent them back to their parents. And it had marvelous results. Got kids off drugs, put them back in their homes uh, as model citizens in the home, and good students at school. And so uh, when I wanted to get uh, the Anasazi Foundation put together, it was unnatural. And my partner, Zeke Sanchez, a great man who really knows how to live off the land and, and has a kind heart, helped me produce this program. And it is in its 25th year and has, uh, has helped thousands of young people. Will you describe what the foundation is all about for those who aren't familiar with its mission? Well, our mission is to uh, bring young people back into their home in a, in a way that they can live in their home and have peace, a heart of peace. And uh, living off the land in the desert, being alone for such long periods of time and with a small group of people and having a family atmosphere rather than a boot camp, men boot camp mentality is the secret. We have a very special way of treating these young people and bringing them up to the standard of their parents. For those wishing to find out more about Anasazi, where can they find it on the internet? Anasazi.org. That's simple. A-N-A-S-A-Z-I dot org. Thousands of students learned survival skills from the survival and primitive living courses you developed and taught through BYU. It was while you were at BYU that you wrote Outdoor Survival Skills. This book led to an interesting milestone in your career involving Robert Redford. Would you share a little about that with us? I wrote the book in 1966 and uh, it was published at BYU and then later at Chicago Review Press in, in, in Chicago and uh, the book did very well and in fact uh, it went worldwide and then one day I was sitting in my office at BYU I got a call from Robert Redford and of course he had the Sundance Resort not far from Provo and he asked if I would come up there and help uh, be a consultant uh, in filming the movie Jeremiah Johnson and they wanted to know the skills of flint napping, fire making, living off the land, sleeping in cold weather, and many other things that I was able to teach Robert Redford and Will Greer. And so it became a great experience for me to work with those men and teach them those skills. If someone wishes to buy your book, where can they find it? Any bookstore and Amazon, but I would recommend for local people to go to Surviving in Style in Twin Falls. Are you currently offering any survival skills field clinics or classes? Yes, we do the, uh, the plant walk every year in May here at the Miracle Hot Springs near Buell and Hagerman, Idaho. 
uh, near Rexburg, Idaho, every year we hold. Uh, we uh, Dave Westcott sponsors the uh, Rabbit Stick Rendezvous, which has become an international event now. People come from all over the world to experience living the life of the primitive Stone Age person and sharing those skills with others who want to know and helping those who don't know anything to find out. May people contact you by email for more information? Yes, uh, Larry dot Olson with an E at Anasazi.org. Larry, thank you for sharing with our Surviving Essentials followers today and for giving so much to so many through your years of teaching and your founding of the Anasazi Foundation. Thank you.